Fureira Adamu has lived with her six children in this camp for displaced people for three years. She found refuge here in southwest Niger's Tilaberi region, close to Burkina Faso and Mali. The three border zone between the countries is a hideout for jihadists linked to Al Qaeda and the Islamic State group. Their attacks in the region have multiplied since 2017, and even more so in recent months. <laughs> I left Tingara to come here to Tadres. It was the insecurity that made us leave our village. I remember the day that the bandits came and killed one of us and left with another. Afterwards, they ordered us to leave the village. Everyone, children, old people and us women all came here on foot. Hamadou Ada left everything behind after armed men on motorbikes terrorized the village. But here, his luck turned. Ada got a leg up from the International Committee of the Red Cross, which provided him with goats and carts. I can't even tell you how happy I am. I just want to thank them for all the support. It really changed my life. Before, when I didn't have this cart, I really suffered, to tell you the truth. My feet used to hurt all the time. In February, Red Cross President Peter Moore visited the Tilaberi region, a priority target area for the organization. The local population is extremely vulnerable for several reasons. It is not only conflict that displaces people and causes problems for these communities, but the effect of climate change too. This is evident from all the interviews we have had with people in displaced persons camps, such as this one. Jihadist violence has forced many Nigerian farmers to abandon their land. But drought has dealt the final blow. According to the UN, Niger could have more than 3.5 million people in food crisis by the middle of the year.